Hello everyone, this is Rodney Hicks with Exotic Fish and Tanks. And what I have for you today is a six inch Harlequin Tusk. It's the Aussie version. I don't bring them in from the Philippines, nor do, do I bring them in from Indonesia. So I only bring in the, the uh, Australian version. And you've heard me say it a million times, not all fish are created equal. So I only bring in fish from other parts of the, uh, of the world. But in any event, five and a half to six inch Harlequin Tusk, Australian version. Let's take a look. Welcome back everyone. This is Fish Guy Rodney with Exotic Fish and Tanks. What I have for you today is a five and a half to six inch Harlequin Tusk. These guys uh, uh, come from Australia. The Australian version are by far the superior version. You can see the stunning colors, the blue, the orange. Not all fish, as you have heard me say many, many times, are created equal. The, again, the Australian version is by far superior than the Philippine or the Indonesian version. Again, all fish are not created equal. This is the Aussie version, and this guy is awesome. Uh, they look far more menacing than what they are. They look far more menacing than what they are. All fish are acclimated in the paragard, which helps with the fungal and the bacterial, along with the antibiotic furan, which is mainly consists of nitrofurazone. All fish are then put into a given a water bath. Firstly, the the pear garden in the nitrofurazone is an hour to hour and a half is what I typically keep them in there. Give them a bath for an hour to hour and a half. I then give them a fresh water dip for five minutes, making sure I use RO water. pH is the same as my QT along with the temp. I then put it into a quarantine system with hyposalinity. 1.008 to 1.009 along with the Cooperman and the Prozzi. And as most of you know who have ordered from me before, with every online order I include for absolutely free, Safety Stop, which is an instant quarantine. This should not take the place of your quarantine protocol. It just gives you that peace of mind of knowing the fish has gone through a quarantine of some sort prior to putting it into your quarantine system. So it should not take the place of your quarantine protocol. It's extremely important, no matter what I or any other do out there, that you quarantine your fish. The main reason, the number one reason, and the number two reason isn't disease as most people think it is. It's because the fish's uh, immune system has been compromised based on how they're caught, how they're held, how they're starved in most cases so that they don't defecate in the bag when they're shipped. So their immune system is shot, which makes them more susceptible to disease. And that's why fish catch diseases because their immune system can't fight it off. I can't tell you how many times I've heard from uh, consumers saying, a sick fish, a sick fish. Someone sold, uh, my local fish store sold me a sick fish. No, you didn't quarantine your, your fish. The immune system was low. What did you expect? So that's what happens. And I know some of you get lucky, I get that. But, and that's why when you get fish from another uh, um, hobbyist, typically the fish do fares much better because it's been in a closed system for so long and its immune system has been rebuilt. But again, enough of that. Uh, all fish can be found on my website, exoticfishandtanks.com. You can pay online as well. And um, in addition to that, uh, on, that on the homepage at the bottom, you can uh, please provide me with your email address so I can add you to my email list. In addition, like my Facebook page and my Instagram, uh, where I post most of my pics. And uh, last but not least, subscribe to my YouTube channel where I post my videos. Again, a six inch Australian Harlequin Tusk. Always feel free to reach out if you have any questions, 469. 682-8841, 469-682-8841, Exotic Fishing Tanks. This is Fish Guy Rodney. Thanks, everyone.